This video is going to show you how to create the wheel for your miniature train project. Uh, and we are going to create the wheel by uh, creating a profile and then revolving it to uh, create the base pattern. Filleting some of the edges, we'll add the center hole, and then we'll create uh, a circular pattern of these shapes here around the center. And then we'll add a series of extrusions and a hole at the end uh, for the part where the linkage arm and linkage peg will connect uh, to get all of the wheels together. Okay, so let's go up to File, New Design, and then I'm going to create it at uh, the bottom or the XY plane. And then if we go back to our drawing here, uh, we want to, if you notice the section view that's given right here, and what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be drawing this profile that you see here on the section view and uh, then we'll just create it using the revolve. So what I'm going to do is, uh, you'll notice there's a hole here. I'm going to pretend like that hole doesn't exist, and we're just going to draw it solid for now, and then we will go in and we will add that hole here uh, later. So I'm going to start in the center of where this hole is and draw a line going out to here to where this dimension is, which is a one-inch line. So from the origin, I'm going to draw a line going out one inch. Okay, and then from there, uh, you'll notice there is a circle or a half of a circle on the end, and its diameter is given right here at 0.25. So let's go ahead and add a circle below this point. And I'll go ahead and connect it up here, and then I'll use the dimension tool to dimension it with a diameter of 0.25, okay? Let's go ahead and draw a line to close off this profile. Okay, and then I will trim off the inside part of the circle that we don't need. And then you'll notice that there is a little cutout right here. So I'm gonna kinda of draw a construction line to help us with that, and then uh, I'm just gonna roughly draw what that is, uh, and then we can add dimensions. So I'm gonna go to the line tool, go to construction line, and then from the center point of the circle, I'm just gonna draw a line going all the way across to the midpoint of this line here. Make sure you can see that triangle. Okay, and then using the line tool, again, there's gonna be kind of a cutout, like roughly right in here, so I'm just gonna, Kind of freehand that for now. Oh, let me change it. I'm gonna click it so it's not a construction line. I'll click on this line here and click the construction line tool to make that an object line. Go back to the line tool and then draw a line going across and then one more going down. Okay, so now we just need to dimension what uh, the distance is for these two lines. So going to our drawing, so for this part right here, it is 0.25. And then for the other line right here, it's 0.75. Okay, last part, we can just go ahead and trim out the bottom part of this line that we don't need. And then let's go ahead and finish this. Click home. And we can uh, go ahead and revolve it. So I'll click revolve. And it's gonna automatically select our profile for us. But for axis, I'm gonna click on this line right here. And it's gonna automatically create our uh, profile, or our form for our wheel. Next, let's go ahead and add some uh, uh, some fillets. So I'll click the fillet tool and then I'm going to click on four edges. I'll click on this, this one right here, the inside one, the other inside one here, and then this one. And then if we go to our drawing, the dimension for that is given right here at 0 0.0625. 0 0.0625. Zero six two five. Click OK. All right, next let's add our hole right here. So I'll click on this face and then go to the hole tool and then click front and then drag this so it's in the middle. And then 
we go to our drawing and scroll down to this part here, the uh, hole is given as 0.28. Just change the, it's actually under extent, change this to all, and then make sure this bottom one, mine, mine was already saved. So mine, make sure that that says 0.28 and then click okay. All right, uh, next we're gonna add the uh, cutouts along here and I'm gonna flip over to the back to do this. So flip to the back, click this face and then click create sketch. All right, and we're primarily gonna be using this uh, part of the drawing for this. So one thing you'll notice is that first there's six of these and they're arranged in a circle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw this one right here and use the circular pattern to generate the rest of them. And then the other thing you'll notice is that these bottom lines and all of these shapes forms a circle. So they're all curved and that forms a circle. And the same thing with the top, the top part of these lines that's a circle, and you'll notice those dimensions are given right here and right here, okay? Um, so what we're gonna do, and, and you'll also notice that there is 30 degrees between each of these, or like from this vertical line right here, it's 15 degrees to this edge and 15 degrees to this edge. Um, so let's start by creating a vertical construction line that we can kind of use to position this one. Um, so I'm gonna go to the line tool, construction line, and then from here, I'll just draw a construction line all the way up, okay? And then I will also add two more construction lines, one to the right of this, one to the left of this, okay? And then I'll dimension each of those lines as 15 degrees from the middle one. So click the left one, the middle one, and then that's gonna be 15 degrees. Okay, and then the other one is also gonna be 15 degrees. All right, next, like we said, the uh, bottom part of this is actually a circle. So we're gonna be drawing two circles, one kind of smaller one here and then a bigger one. So let's look at the smaller one first. That's given with this dimension, which is a radius of 0.375, uh, which we need to double. Uh, so that is 0.75. So we'll click our circle tool. And uh, before I draw this, I'm gonna go over here to construction and uncheck that. And then we'll make this 0.75. Press enter. Uh, let's go ahead and get our other circle on here. So the other one, the radius is 0.625. Again, we need to double that for the diameter, which is 1.25. Click our circle tool, midpoint again, and this is again is gonna be 1.25. You can kind of see where our shape is gonna be. It's gonna be right here. Uh, we have the extra parts to the circle that we don't really need. Uh, but first let's go to the line tool. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to draw from this part right here up to the other circle, kind of along that the uh, construction lines that we added. Okay, and we basically have uh, that profile that we need to use the circular pattern on, but we have the extra parts of this circle that's kind of in the way. So let's go ahead and trim off the extra parts of the circle. And then we will go to create circular pattern. And then for objects, you wanna click on these four lines. And then for center point, you wanna just click on the point, the center right down here. And I believe there are six of them. Yep. So we're just gonna up this to six and then click okay. All right, and we are just ready to extrude this. Let's go ahead and finish the sketch, go to extrude and then click on all six of these shapes. And then we'll just tell that to go in enough so it goes all the way through and then click okay. So with that, that will go ahead and cut out the rest of those. That The last thing we need is kind of the connector piece where it's going to connect to the, uh, the linkage arm. So uh, on this bottom face right here, uh, I'm gonna 
click Create Sketch. And then on our drawing, if we go up here, so we can see from the center point to the center of all of these circles, it is 0.7 inches. And then the biggest circle is a quarter of an inch. So I'll go to the circle tool and then hover your mouse over the origin or the center point there. I'll just click like roughly right here. And again, this is going to be 0.25. And uh, like we said, it was 0.7 inches from the center uh, to the center of that hole. Okay. And then we'll click finish sketch. And what we'll do now is we will uh, extrude this out. So click extrude and you're gonna have to click on both parts of that hole there. And let's go back to the drawing. That is gonna come out 0.375. Oops. I'll double click back into that. I think it was still under cut. Yeah, click join and then click okay. All right, next we'll click on this face. We're gonna add another circle. So that other circle has a diameter of 0.125 and it is extruded out 0.125. Just go to extrude. Again, that's gonna come out 0.125. And then lastly, we just need to add a hole right here. So I'll click on this face, click hole, and then make sure that's in the center. And then check our dimension for that. So it's got a diameter of 0 0.0625 and it goes down 0 0.25. So the depth is okay. This just needs to change to 0 0.0625. So make sure the diameter you have set to 0 0.0625 and then the depth should be 0.25. Click okay. All right, and that should be the wheel.